Finally, this slow trickle charge is about to become obsolete because in the garage you see behind me, I'm about to have a state-of-the-art 7 kilowatt wall-mounted charger installed. Wait till you see what I'm getting. With the electrician arriving, I opened up the garage to find the ideal location to install my new toy. And on that note, let's do an unboxing. And this is the one I'm having installed. It is an EVNX E2 charger and it's pretty impressive. I'll get to all the features and functions in a second, but right now let's do the unboxing. This is going to be a really fast unboxing because one, the electricians are waiting, and two, I never really got the point of unboxing videos, so let's crack into it. What's in the box? And this is the charger. So this is the 7.4 kilowatt charger. This unit will charge any electric car from flat to full overnight. It comes with a five meter long cable, so it'll fit any garage. Also comes with the user guide and it comes with the install kit for the electrician. This unit will set you back $1,395 plus the install. However, this is a great investment because not only is it loaded with functionality and completely programmable, but it's also made right here in New Zealand. That's it. This one is Kiwi made like the electricity that's gonna power it. Let's get this thing installed. The electricians got busy installing the new charger and I chose this location as the perfect spot because my 1977 project car will soon be running on this Nissan Leaf electric motor, which means this location is a perfect spot plus that five meter long cable will reach anywhere in the garage. All right, so this is Lance. He's the electrician installing my charger today. Okay, I wanna ask you some really stupid questions. First of all, is this an easy or a difficult install? Uh, this one's probably a mediocre one. <laughs> between <laughs> um, being being inaccessible above makes it a bit difficult but uh -huh. um, we do have some access over there my apprentice Keith is going to go over now uh, crawl over there and see if he can locate the cable what would be the dream install for a charger uh, ideally next to the switchboard is preferred um, we can cut a hole below the switchboard or next to it and get the cable into the switchboard pretty easy what would constitute a really difficult install where the switchboard is located somewhere very far away. They're normally in the garage though, right? Most of the time, oh, okay. <laughs> not always. <laughs> yeah. All right, so can you explain what's happening in this particular install, what's going on? So we've drilled a hole here. Um, we're gonna push this cable up into the ceiling space. Keith's gonna grab it and route it into that switchboard over there. Um, we'll mount a bit of capping down the wall to your new EV charger. What, what do customers typically ask you when they get in the way while you're trying to work and they're filming? <laughs> Uh, if I want a coffee. Oh, right. <laughs> I've already asked you that. <laughs> I tried to keep out of their way and let them work, but I did need to know about install costs. What sort of cost are you looking at for the typical charger install? Uh, looking at about $1,000 for a charger to be installed, um, but it's all dependent on location from the switchboard, the amount of, yeah, the amount of cable we have to use in time. Right. <laughs> And what, uh, what sort of time frame does a typical install take? Um, a nice easy one below the switchboard, uh, about two hours. One like this, um, about three to four. The installation took about three hours and once completed, the moment of truth arrived, I was looking forward to playing with my new toy. And here it is all installed. Check this thing out and far out, look how thin it is. It's like less than seven centimeters thick. It's a really slim charger. And because it's designed and built right here in New Zealand, you get New Zealand flavored colors. So you can get volcanic, which is like a dark gray color. Then you can get stone, which is a light gray color. Then of course you can get snow, which is white or yellow if you're skiing with me. And then of course you can get my favorite, the one I ordered was this one. It is sand, which is basically a very light beige and it's perfect because I identify as an octogenarian. Not only that, this case is made out of 72% bio-based plastic, which in English it means it's about a quarter of the carbon required to make this case as opposed to a regular old oil-based plastic case. Loving that. This thing also has, as standard, a five meter long cable. That is freaking wicked. So you can reach anywhere in the garage. Plus, you can choose between type one or type two plugs on the end at no cost. I've gone with type two because that is the most common plug type. But now, let's fire up the app and I'll show you what makes this charger really special. And I'll mirror the screen right there so you can see what I'm seeing. First thing you want to notice is live grid emissions. That shows you at a glance how clean the national grid is right at that moment. And as you can see, it's not bad. 
But this is really information only for people who haven't yet made the move to ecotricity. The reason I say that is because ecotricity's electricity is climate positive. Yes, imagine a power company that's not just clean, not just carbon neutral, but actually climate positive. So if you happen to have lungs or children or grandchildren and you want to secure their future and make an actual impact on climate change, sign up today at ecotricity.co.nz. You'll feel really good. You get some green cred and not only that, it's hard to convey in video, but you feel really, really good for joining. Once you've got your charger installed, the first thing you want to do is scroll down and enter in your electricity pricing so you can figure out how much you're spending to charge your car. So scroll on down, put in your data, which is 27 peak rate, 24 off peak rate, and the nighttime rate is just 20. With that done, at the top of the page, you will see a little graph, and that will get more and more accurate with time. It'll tell you how well you're sticking to your preferred charging schedule. On that note, let's plug in a car. Now, this is where the five meter long cable comes in handy, because I can roll in whatever press car I'm reviewing, which happens to be this cool Ionic 6, and as you'll see, the cable reaches perfectly. <sighs> It is a lifesaver. Honestly, this charger just gets better and better. And with the car plugged in, it will automatically start charging. It goes from pulsing white, which means standby, to purple, which means connecting, and then it will go green, which means charging. What I really love about this charger, however, is how easy it is to program. Remember VCRs in the 80s and the 90s? Programming those things was just an effort in patience. It was agony. However, with this, it's a piece of cake. Go into charging schedule, and then you can just choose your time. It's as easy as that. So let's just say you want to start your charging at 11 p.m. and you want to finish it at 7. Sit, set. Done. It's that easy. But let's say you're having lunch with a mate and his very attractive fiance turns to the camera and says, hey, we should take your Ionic 6 on a road trip tonight. And you think, oh no, my car's not fully charged and it won't start charging until 11 p.m. Don't worry, by simply going into controls on your phone at lunch, you can simply press charge now and charge now and boom, your car starts charging while you're enjoying some delicious potatoes. But what if you're at home and you've lost your phone? Well, don't worry, just tap the front, it'll start charging. Love this thing. Plus, if you have solar panels on your roof like I'm gonna put on this house very, very shortly, the Evnex charger has a cool little feature called solar diversion. And how it works is pretty interesting. During the install, the electrician installed a little sensor behind my 1,500 year old power board, which monitors how much power my house is using. And when I have solar panels, how much electricity is going back into the grid. And by going into solar diversion and turning it on, suddenly by entering in my details, the charger will detect how much electricity is heading into the grid. When it meets a threshold, it'll channel it to my car instead. And you can't do that with a boring old trickle charger. Now let's talk charging speed. Now if you were to use this good old fashioned granny charger, also known as a trickle charger or emergency charger, well, to charge this car, you're in for a long wait. Right now, this car's at 36% full. And to plug one of these things in, you're looking at, yep, 36% hours. That is glacial. Now to be fair, these dumb trickle chargers can work for many people if you've got a little city car and you just don't drive anywhere. I used to use one of these every day when I had my little electric car in Europe because I only really did 30 k's a day. But that was six years ago. Electric cars now go a lot further per charge. The long range version of this Ionic 6, for example, does 614 k's on a charge, which means if you want to utilize the full potential of your brand new electric car, this trickle charger is useless. This is where the EVNX E2 charger really shines. So instead, using the EVNX charger, which can provide 7.4 kilowatts, that's about 40 kilometers an hour charging, you can charge this thing from 36% to 100% in about eight and a half hours. That's quite a difference. That's about 50 kilowatt hours worth of electricity. And if you're on the plan I'm on, it's about 11 bucks. Can't go wrong with that. Plus it's climate positive. So while I threw this video together, my new Evnex E2 charger was feeding my hungry press car. And even though I was charging at peak time because I'm an idiot, for less than the price of a small latte, I'd pumped enough climate positive electricity into this big heavy luxury cruiser to drive from Auckland Central all the way northwest through Helensville, all the way up to Mosquito Beach. That sounds horrific. But regardless, a trip that would have taken about 12 hours waiting on a trickle charger is now done quicker than watching Forrest Gump. Bottom line is, if you've got an electric car or if you're looking at getting one, get yourself a seven kilowatt wall mounted charger. Obviously, this is the one I chose, so this is the one I recommend. Because not only is it really, really easy to use and it's logical and it's smart, 
but it's entirely designed and made right here in New Zealand. So basically this is like having high speed fiber and once you go high speed fiber, dial up, well, it's just not quite the same.